Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Now let's try to understand the quadratic formula because sometimes it is little lengthy to solve the question using factorization because in factorization we have to find a and b such that a plus b is equal to the, minor, the middle term and a b should be the product of the extreme term and in the completion of the for, square formula also we have to square it a little lengthy so let's find a quadratic formula to solve things easier this is my equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 here let me try to derive the quadratic form since a is not equal to 0 I can divide the whole thing by a correct so my equation will be a by ax square plus b by ax plus c by a is equal to a and a cancel correct now let me use the completion formula square completion formula so this will be nothing but x square plus 2 into b by 2a into x since this is b by 2a i'll add b by 2a square and i'll subtract b by 2a square correct plus c by a is the common which is there is equal to 0 now this i can rewrite as x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to this will become b square minus b square by 4a square this one right and this i'll write as nothing but c by a like i can write as 4ac by 4a square why i've done like this i have multiplied by 4a because 4a square is common here correct so this i can write as nothing but x plus b by 2a is nothing but whole square is nothing but b square minus 4ac by or root of b square minus 4ac by 2a whole square correct now since this has to be greater than 0 because this number is coming under root root of some number can never be i mean if it is real number root of that value should be greater than zero we can't have root of minus two we can have root of two we can't have root of minus two as far as the real number is concerned if you're talking about the root of minus two it is imaginary number which we will read in the next class we'll read in the class 11th for now we'll assume that b square minus ac should be greater than zero for root to be real correct so the condition is b square minus 4ac has to be greater than 0 for real root. Correct. This is the condition. So if that is true, I can say that x plus b by 2a is equal to plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Same thing which we have been doing. Correct. So what I'll get? X is nothing but minus b minus b by 2a plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Or if I take 2a common, this will become 2a. This will become minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac. Correct. So I have two values of x. That is, I write here. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus root b square minus 4ac by 2a, or x is equal to minus b minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is the general solution for a quality equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. So for real roots b that uh, b square minus 4 ac should be greater than 0. Also b square minus 4 ac 
is also called discriminant and that is d we call it by d so d should be greater than 0 for real number the common solution is x is equal to minus b plus minus 2 over b square minus 4 ac by 2a please remember this this is used very commonly x is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4 ac by 2 general solution for the quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 let's continue our discussion on the roots as we told b square minus 4 ac is called discriminant now for this quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 it will have two distinct real roots if b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 it will have real roots if b square minus ac is equal to 0 and no root no real roots if b square minus is 4 ac is less than 0 on the earlier formula also we can derive because this is x is nothing but minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a correct if b square minus 4 ac is greater than 0 then this is a real value so root of this you will get some values right then it will have two distinct roots because that will be minus b plus minus let's suppose this value is called d d by 2a now in second case two equal roots if this component is 0 if this component is 0 then the equation will be minus b plus minus 0 by 2a so it doesn't matter if you are adding or subtracting 0 it will all be same so in that case it will be two equal roots right in first case two distinct roots all are real in case b square minus 4 is less than 0 then there is no real root then we have imaginary roots which we will learn in the next class correct let's take some example we have to find the discriminant of the quality equation this and we also we have to find the nature of the roots d is nothing but we know b square minus 4 ac this is a this is b this is c so b is nothing but minus 3 here so minus 3 square minus 4 a is 2 c is 5 so what i get 9 minus 4 40 that is minus 31 now since d is less than 0 i can say no real root so whatever root you will get will be imaginary root very simple we just have the formula d is equal to b square minus 4ac we know a b and c we have put this and got the value of very simple let's take home example 2x square minus 6x plus 3 here also d is equal to b square minus 4ac this is a this is b this is c so b is nothing but minus 6 minus 6 square minus 4 a is nothing but 2 and c is 3 so this becomes 36 minus 4 into 2 is 8 into 3 is 24 that is 12 that is greater than 0 so we can say that real roots and not only real since d is greater than 0 it is distinct and real if you want to find the value of x x is nothing but minus b plus minus d that is root of b square minus uh, that is b square minus plus c root of d by 2a that is nothing but b is nothing but minus 6 so minus of minus 6 plus minus root of 12 d is 12 by 2 into a a is 2 so i'll get this is nothing but 6 plus minus root 12 by 4 that is 6 plus sorry 6 plus root 12 by 4 and or or actually or 6 minus root 12 by 4 these are the roots of the equation very simple we found the value of d we found d to be greater than 0 so we told that okay d will have distinct roots and real roots and we got the value also let's take one more example 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 here also d is equal to b square minus 4ac this is a this is b this is c d is minus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 a is 3 and c is 4 this is nothing but 48 minus 40a that is 0 since d is 0 it will have real root and it will have equal real root only one value also from formula we see x equal to minus b 
plus minus d by 2 a d is 0 so this becomes minus b by 2 a that is nothing but minus b is minus of minus 4 root 3 by 2 into a is 3 that is 4 root 3 by 6 that is you can say 2 root 3 by 3 and that is the answer very simple just find the value of d and from d you can make out whether it has real roots or uh, imaginary roots if real roots whether it has equal roots or distinct let's take one more example find the value of k for which the following equation for each of the following equations so that they have two equal roots see for equal roots d should be equal to 0 t is equal to b square minus 4ac that has to be equal to 0 for equal roots right so here b is nothing but k k square minus 4 a is 2 and c is 3 plus 0 k square is equal to 4 into 2 8 into 3 24 so k is equal to plus minus 24 that is the answer or you can say plus minus 24 i can say 2 root 6 plus minus 2 root 6 so either k is equal to plus 2 root 6 or minus 2 root 6 in that case this equation will have two equal we'll take one example the question is is it possible to design a rectangular mango groove whose length is twice its breadth and the area is 800 meters square that means length is twice its breadth if the breadth is x length will be 2x right and the area is 800 square meter area is nothing but l into b that is nothing but 2x into x and that is nothing but 800 so the question says 2x square is equal to 800 or x square is equal to 400 or x is equal to 20 that is possible right x equal to 20 is a value x equal to plus 20 or minus 20 so if you see we have found the solution also that means it is possible or going by the rule what we can say or this is nothing but x square minus 400 is equal to 0 let's find the value of t d is nothing but b square minus 4ac b square is 0 0 square minus 4 into a is 1 c is minus 400 so d is nothing but plus 1600 and that is greater than 0 since d is greater than 0 we can say that we can find the real roots that means we have some values for which this condition will satisfy so in such question you have to just find the equation and find the value of d if d is greater than 0 that means the scenario is possible if t is less than 0 scenario is not possible yep. thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again